Welcome back everyone, Tina here and in this video I'm going to show you how you can set up the branded mobile app inside the client portal. Yes, you can create your own branded mobile app in case you didn't know. Let's get started. First, you want to click on memberships on the left, select client portal at the top and then click on branded mobile app. Then click on get started, subscribe to the mobile app and once that's done, we can set up the branding and everything else. Once your payment has been confirmed, you will end up seeing this screen. This step involves completing your app's branding and profile information. Make sure the app aligns with your brand identity and provides a cohesive user experience. So here you would just need to complete all the fields in the branding and profile section to set up your app's basic look and feel. This includes graphics, which you should have ready to upload once you get to this particular step. Once you've added the carousel, the Play Store banner, and so on and so forth, you will have to fill out your personal information, including full name, phone number, email, support email, the support URL, the address, and the DUNS number. After reviewing all the details in the branding section, you will need to submit your information. And once submitted, these details will be used to develop your app and cannot be modified afterwards. So make sure to double check before proceeding. After submission, our team will review the information within five working days. And this process ensures everything meets the necessary standards and your app is set up correctly. You will have to wait for a notification regarding the review outcome. If additional information is needed, you will be contacted to make the necessary adjustments. If so, you will receive in-app notifications, which look like that. If the review has failed, you will see notification marked in red and you'll be asked to review the changes. So all you got to do is click, please click here to review changes. Then this window will pop up, which explains what is the reason for the failure. In this example is that the user needs to fix the dimensions of these screenshots. Once you're back in review, you will be moved to step four in review where the team will again look at all your data. If the review has been passed by our team, the status will move to book slot 42FA. For app security and verification, we need to set up two-factor authentication. This step requires scheduling a time slot for reviewing a 2FA code via email or SMS. So go ahead, book a convenient time slot for the 2FA process and ensure availability to receive and enter the code during the chosen slot. Once you've completed all the previous steps, the app will be submitted to the app stores. From here, the app stores review process will start, which may take a few days. So make sure that you check your email notifications as well as your in-app notifications regularly to not miss a notification from our team. And that's it already. I hope you liked the video and I will see you in the next one.